Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. Uh, it's uh, nice here again. Anyways, hope you're doing good and thank you for spending a brief moment of your day with me. I appreciate it. First, I want to talk about uh, this book quickly. This is a book that was highly, it's highly recommended by a lot of readers. And it is uh, about manifesting, in essence, how you can um, get the universe to basically cooperate with you, but you have to raise your vibration in order to do so. It could be life-changing, they say. So I just thought I'd recommend that book. I'm, I haven't really gotten too much into it, so I don't cannot say much about it because I just got it. So I'm probably going to go through it real slowly. I'm not going to rush through it. I'll just kind of inch my way and when I'm in the mood because I don't have a lot of time, to be honest. Okay, so today's spread I would like to talk about and do a spread on the rumor mill is that they found a place to live in L.A., okay? So I want to know, was it uh, in Malibu or Bel Air? Or is it in the heart of L.A.? So I'm going to do a little pendulum and then throw some cards. The rumor mill also is saying that Harry's not sure. Uh, allegedly, entertainment purposes, this is tarot. Just want to put that out there in case I forgot. And anyways, yeah, people are joking, saying it's quite the drive to find a Sizzlers from Bel Air or Malibu. So, so, Crystal Cove in Malibu is like swimming with celebrities on the ocean side where they dine. So I can kind of see her doing it either or. Either one would serve her purpose for what she is. So let's find out. Uh, is Did they buy a place um, in Malibu? It is the new pad, it's, it's supposed to be a, a rental too. Uh, it's looking like it could be a rental. So first and foremost, is it in Malibu? Did Meghan Markle and Harry find a place in Malibu? Did they find a place in Malibu? Did they find a place in Malibu? Maybe. Okay, doesn't want to answer. Maybe it's just lie. Is this a lie? Is, could this be a lie? Is this just false PR? This is false PR. No. Okay, so they did move. Or they have found a place. Yes. Okay. And did the Montecito place uh, sell? Was it sold? Was it sold? Was Montecito sold? Yes. So now she's forced to move. She's forced to move. Yes. Okay. Is it in Bel Air? Is it in Bel Air? Oh, Bel Air. I'm going to ask again. So it's looking like it might be Bel Air, which is more private and exclusive and, and harder to get to in terms of the outside public. So I'm going to ask again, is it in Bel Air? Did she find a place in Bel Air? Did she find a place to rent in Bel Air? Yeah, it's Bel Air. Okay, so, so Malibu probably makes her feel too... Uh, you know, it's too easy to get to people that, you know, a lot of the homes are just stretched out along the coastline and from the street line, it looks like, you know, nothing from, from the street, basically, uh, entrance is just too easy. So that's probably why she didn't choose that. So let's get some cards on the Bel Air place there. Transformation. Yep. Ending and a new beginning in essence, with the death card. So it's a death and rebirth. She had to leave Montecito. She's starting a new life in Bel Air. There you have it. Let's get to the challenging position, challenging position, challenging position. I've got quite a few here is not being able to manifest what she wants. So it's not clear. She couldn't get clearly what she wanted in Montecito. No healing, no healing in the marriage because there's problems in the marriage. You can't manifest and get the dream she wants within the marriage, keeping the marriage together. Uh, someone's walking away. And then we have a tower crashing moment, shedding skin and rebuilding. So it's looking like, yeah, she's having a hard time keeping this marriage together. And uh, she cannot get what she wants with him and getting him on board with her. She can't get him to shed his skin to rebuild with her uh, in this new place. And someone's walking away. There is a walking away card there. And leveling up uh, is a, a shocking shocking change going on uh, because the tower is about taking down the old and bringing up the new. It's all new. It's also, it's a very um, rude awakening. So she has to rebuild herself. And I think Harry wants to rebuild himself. So that's why there's that leaving there. 
uh, in terms of healing between them. There's no healing star power in reverse, attention in reverse, negative attention, uh, not being able to really glow up with that star in reverse, a celebrity in reverse, a lot of insecurity, depression, uh, very discouraged because they, she can't make, she simply cannot get what she wants with that magician in reverse. Uh, she does not have the tools to achieve what she wants. She doesn't have the humor. She, you know, everyone says her um, podcast is boring and she's tanking. Her archwell is tanking. I did do a post on that today. So archwell's tanking. So her celebrity's tanking. And then celebrities aren't going to want to come in and be interviewed by her because she's not a good interviewer. And also with that magician in uh, the reverse position is you cannot cure an illness. We know she has NPD and it simply never can be cured. Uh, it's low vibration. It is not raising her vibration. Uh, it's she's going down lower. Uh, it's also can be the liar card due to her lies. That's the other reason why Harry has left because he's sick and tired of it. It's constant taking down the old rebuilding up. He's done and over with that because that seems to be the only thing that this marriage is about. Uh, is about basically taking down old structures. And she also wants to take down the monarchy, uh, which is also represents um, the hierarchy of government. And so that would be her wishing to take down um, the family. And so that's always been such a goal. And I think Harry's kind of getting at the end of his rope with it. Uh, so basically, I see him wanting to shed that skin and rebuild himself by leaving with that Eight of Cups. That Eight of Cups is um, walking away for empowerment, uh, leaving someone behind. You know, the path is unknown. There's this transition period. It's a lifestyle change. Again, uh, a change in priorities occurred. And so this is what I see. I still see it happening with Harry. It may be slow. People might be saying, no, it's not going to happen. But I see it in the cards and I stick by it. It just may not come soon enough to where people say, oh, no, it's not happening. Yes, it is happening. It's just may take another six months to a year. Let's get to the focal point. Let's get to the focal point here with Bel Air. Focal point with Bel Air. Focal point with Bel Air is, I would say, is the children there. And we have here, she does not want the children. <laughs> Go figure. We got the Empress in reverse. She's never been nurturing. She, they're not her kids. Uh, they did. She did not birth them. And um, she wants to be happy, but uh, that, that no longer serves her. Uh, pretending to be mother no longer serves her. Uh, it made her happy, actually. She kind of got off on uh, pulling the wool over everyone. Uh, she enjoyed it because she's dark. Uh, yeah, th this kind of thing is her thing. She enjoys it. The Empress in reverse is someone who um, basically ignores kids. She doesn't like them and she's uncaring. She's neglectful. She knows it was the wrong path to even pretend that they were hers. Doesn't serve her anymore. Why? Because it may come out. It's it's leaking. People aren't afraid of her. She knows it's, it's weighing heavy on her and it's affecting her self-esteem. She has low self-esteem about it, about even trying to act like she's happy about it. Uh, that she enjoys her children when she just frankly ignores them and can't wait to hand them over or pretend that she is endearing of them. She's not. That just doesn't serve her anymore. She doesn't even want to pretend. Uh, so, yes, that's who she is. <laughs> can't even have dogs around her. That's what they say. Yes. Yes. So, hmm. let's get to the hidden core. Core with Bel Air. Moving to Bel Air. What's going to happen with the core moving to Bel Air? The core moving to Bel Air. Here we go. The core with Bel Air. She wants Harry to be with her. Yep. She wants Harry to be with her. And she would also like to be in probably in control of him. But there's control issues there. She wants Harry because he is the <clears throat> dad. And so that is the problem. And the children is the focal point. She doesn't want to be alone. She wants to cling on to him longer. Even though she's not nurturing. But she gets off on it. She, she gets pleasure on being kind of that abusive type, that ignoring abusive type. Let's get to the uh, feeling, the future, the future with Bel Air. How's that going to work for her? That's going to work for her. We got the nine of wands in reverse with the um, with the eight of swords upright and the knight of wands in reverse. So with the nine of wands in reverse, that is lowered boundaries um, with the with the low boundaries giving up so someone's giving up that's not being able to protect you know 
how far you've quote gotten. She hasn't gotten very far, but anyway, she cannot protect where she thinks she has gone uh, because she is having problems with her podcast. It's failing big time. So she can't protect that right now. It's like at the giving up position, which is causing the prisoner of the mind of her own making. Uh, that is someone who can get themselves free because it is self-imposed. And then it's paired with the Knight of Wands in reverse. With the Knight of Wands in reverse is life feels very unpredictable. Uh, it's reckless, going silent. Um, you know, she's been disregarding of other people. So she's very unpredictable. She's got that, that victimology with the Eight of Swords mixed with lowering her boundaries and feeling, you know, weakened and can't go on anymore and giving up. So she's feeling quite like she's fallen on her head, uh, miserable, tied up, um, stuck, stuck in a situation. Basically, those three cards kind of tells me in a nutshell She's been pushed up against a wall and she has nowhere else to go. She, there's there's this lack of escapism from the situation. And she did it to herself. And hey, that's why Harry wants to get away from her. Because he does see her losing steam uh, with that Knight of Wands in reverse. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, there's the anger issues, the obstacles, feeling dumped, uh, a reckless direction, and dealing with the consequences. So it's quite the victimology right there. And she's really... She's been pinned up against a wall now with all the negative press. Let's get to the feelings in the situation. Yeah, she's been been found out to be a person you cannot trust. Uh, you know, she'll work against you. She will work against you. That's why the celebrities are probably going to pull back. That's why no one's interested in it. Uh, brittle ego. She's wearing a mask. She's been exposed. She's not fooling anybody. So this is someone who is a liar, who cannot fool people. Uh, and so she knows it. She knows that she's a liar and she knows that um, she's hoping everything goes unnoticed, basically. But she gets a charge out of it, just like this. She gets a charge out of pretending to be nurturing and that she birthed the kids and she didn't. And she gets a charge out of lying. She really enjoys it. Uh, she will work against you in a heartbeat just like I did with that Elon Musk. It doesn't matter how rich or powerful you are. People are recognizing that she'll take down anybody, anybody. Very dishonorable person, very treasonous, very deceptive because she has a brittle ego and she's weak-minded. So that's why she's got to take from other people to raise herself up. That's a narcissist. Got to take you down so I can be the winner. So basically, that is how she knows. She knows that about herself. She's aware of it. So let's go into, so it's not going to go too well even in this new home because people, people have her figured out. So uh, let's get to the next position. Next position here is the outside influences. Outside influences is the lovers in reverse. Harry's not interested in going with her. He doesn't want to team up. He doesn't want to work with her. He doesn't want to communicate with her. Uh, that's the three of pentacles. He does not want to live with her. That The three of pentacles is collaborating yeah, with the three is being together with communication. He doesn't even want to talk about that new home. Uh, other people are going to say, where's Harry? Uh, I don't see him with her. So this is a good way, uh, being in Bel Air, she can lock herself away without as many prying eyes. So it's going to work out better for her because it's more of a private uh, location uh, because people are going to recognize that Harry's never with her. Uh, also, the children are never with her. And then we have here the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Nobody's really going to want to do anything with her. They're not going to see her as a, a woman who can do it all. She's not going to be viewed as that mother and um, entrepreneur, podcast, or whatever. They're not going to look at her in a positive light. Uh, they're going to look at her in a very negative light in terms of her home, her family values, her career, all tanking, uh, and nobody's loving on her. Uh, everyone's going to be going like, oh, there she is. You know, let's let's put her sunglasses back on. That There's that Marco lady. So she's not going to be idolized or loved. People aren't going to even want to test a relationship with her, especially in working relationships. Um, the three of pentacles is all about mastery and skill. They're going to think she's not skilled enough. She thinks she is, but she's not because she's not making it. She's clearly not making it, but she still thinks she is. And let's just kind of stay away from her. Uh, let's not have lunch with her. Let's not invite her over. So it's going to be kind of more of the same from Montecito, uh, and Bel Air. 
It's not going to change. It, just because you change your address, you're still there. All your problems go with you. And that's what this says. Just because you move, your problems go with you. Even with other people. Because it's all, it's all within herself. It's all within her mind here. She created that herself. So, and that's why. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you change your phone number, change your direction. You, you're stuck with yourself until you fix it. So let's get to the hopes and fears. The hopes and fears with Bel Air. Hopes and fears for Bel Air for her. Hopes and fears for Bel Air. We have here the moon in reverse. So it's no longer that shared fantasy. Uh, the issues are known now. All the truths are coming out. Um, you know, the right here, she's going to be hoping that Harry or somebody comes back to her. Uh, wanting someone to come back to her. Uh, the illness in reverse, hoping maybe she can heal a little bit. Uh, the, the path before was false. Now she's going to be more self-aware uh, about herself. Uh, the mother card in reverse. Uh, no children, no mother. She's really not a mother. So this is gonna this is gonna start to come out, and that's why this is here about being a liar. So yeah, it's a good hiding spot <laughs> being in Bel Air. I do think it's behind locked gates. So yeah, she needs a gated community <laughs> for sure. All right, let's get to the final outcome. The final outcome. For Bel Air, living in L.A., the life of L.A., finding this new place. We have here, it is going to feel like it's sudden and out of the blue. It's, it's, they're doing, they have to do it now. It's like, this is very fast moving energy. So this is something they have to do now. I think it's kind of like, boom, you're on the line. Now's the time. You cannot stay in this house anymore. You got to go. So it's reaching a breaking point. Everything's reaching a breaking point for her. Uh, there's a lot of fighting energy with that. Um, shark attack energy, trying to find resolve, um, you know, feeling like you need to act fast. So she's got to get out. She's got to get out now. It's because she's being thrown. She's gotten, I think they've already probably done it, but it's out of Montecito and into this new place and it has to be done quickly with movers and whatnot. So it's being done very quickly and swiftly. I'm sure she's had everything packed up and professionally done. I'm sure she's not loading things up like the Beverly Hillbillies. No, no, she hired those professionals. So yes, and I'm sure she probably has her stuff that she kept in storage uh, in Canada as well. Whatever she can take with her, she's gonna take with her, I'm sure. So yeah, you know, uh, it is definitely still fighting energy. So she is still going to be pissing and moaning and fighting and fighting for her celebrity, even though it's tanking, fighting to keep her podcast going, even though it's tanking, fighting to make friends, still people not interested, fighting to try and get Harry to um, do it with her. He doesn't want to fighting with everybody. She's going to be fighting her way to the grave. Okay. So it'll never stop until she's six feet under. And that's just how I see it. So let's get to the center of the deck we have here. Yeah, there's that fighting energy. Yep, there's that five of swords. She's going to fight, fight, fight. Doesn't matter who she's with because she cannot get people to love her. She cannot get the love and peace that she wants. So when she cannot feel the love of others, she gets combative. She gets very combative and she will take your sword, try and fight unfairly in order to win with the five of swords. It's a repeated psychological pattern of failure of not getting the love she feels she deserves, nor the peace. It's also the baby card in reverse, not her children. Healing repressed emotions, attempting to, but not capable, not gratified, no love offers, empty inside, not fulfilled. Not, not feeling abundant, um, not feeling pleasure. So the pleasure card is in reverse. Uh, no emotional beginnings with Harry because we had that um, transformation card here. So she cannot transform that either. And she cannot manifest to get him back. She can't get the healing with him. Uh, she can't promise some things and, and, and tell him, hey, we can do this and I can make it happen. No, you can't. You've already proven to me you can't. So he's really burned out. He's ready to walk. He is ready to walk. He knows she's just a liar who makes false fantasy promises. Right here, false fantasy promises she can never keep. She cannot do it. Her head is in the clouds, in essence. She is just 
false fantasy planning. It is deluded, paranoid, paranoid with psychosis, and he's just not buying it anymore. Uh, so she has to go to this new home, and nobody's going to be interested in her. It's going to follow her. She will not get the love, and she will fight with people. She's going to be fighting energy, fighting energy. And it's just this disputes go everywhere she goes. And she needs to swallow her pride that not everybody's going to love her. Not everybody's going to see her as a powerful person either because it's between there. And she's going to keep fighting with the royal family too. She's going to also... Uh, double energies here. She's going to keep fighting with Charles. She's going to keep fighting with Charles, hands down. That is not going to, she's not going to let that go. She'll never let that go. She's not going to go silent because they don't love her. And that's another reason why um, she has this, this here in reverse and the outside sources. They are not going to let her back in and she knows it, which means it's going to affect her financial luxury feeling of, of abundance. So they will not work with her. So, and other people are going to recognize that. No, the family doesn't like her. So that's going to kind of translate into the public because that was the public cards there and how the public's going to view her. They're going to say like, hey, they don't want her, you know? So we don't want her, you know? She's not truly a royal here. She fights with everyone. So it's karma. It's coming. It's biting her. It's biting her. Karma's got sharp nails and those nails are scratching her back, clawing her Instead of her clawing Harry, karma's clawing her. So that's basically how I see it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great evening. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.